Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline Lopez and today I have my very first what's for dinner. Today's video is in collaboration with Mandy in the making and cook clean and repeat. So make sure to check out their channels and check out the playlist that I'm going to link down below for everybody's what's for dinner. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I post a new video and let me know if you want more videos like this. On this night, we are having lasagna for dinner. We are actually celebrating one of our anniversaries today. So I decided that this would be a perfect dinner to have. And my son loves to help me cook dinner. He always helps me with all of it or some portion of it. So he is tasked with the duty of doing the cheese layer while I do the pasta and meat sauce layers. Since this is my very first what's for dinner, um, let me know if you want me to film these in a different format. I'm just going to show you little clips of us preparing either the end of our meal or just the served plate. And also there is very bad lighting because again, since these are dinners, it is later in the day. So I don't have that much natural light coming in through the windows anymore. And here is our completed lasagna before it makes it in the oven. We are just going to put it back in the oven to melt all the cheesy goodness inside. And we just had some green salad with some zesty lime dressing as a side. On the next night, we are having tuna salad, but it's not just any tuna salad. It is a pasta tuna salad, and I love it this salad so much it brings back so many memories from when i was little this was a staple at any daytime party that the moms had while all the kids were away at school and i remember coming home and eating the leftovers which by the way are way better so let me go ahead and tell you how i make this tuna pasta salad i am using one package of tuna in water drained i do break it up so that it's not in big chunks and then i add salt and pepper to taste one can of corn half a cup head of lettuce and about half a cup to two-thirds cup of mayonnaise all of these items can be adjusted to taste and then i already cooked some pasta i cooked the whole box of this rotini pasta and i'm only going to use again about half of what i made to about two-thirds and make sure that you fold all the ingredients together gently so that you don't break apart any of the noodles or the lettuce and my favorite part of this meal is how customizable it is you can change all of the ingredients and still have the same basic flavor behind it so you can switch out the tuna for chicken and you can do different type of pasta different type of vegetables i've done fresh vegetables like cucumbers tomatoes and onions and then the regular that everybody uses which is the canned vegetable mix or you can use a frozen bag of vegetables now, I did make it specifically in this container so that I could put it away in the fridge and just let it chill for a little bit. And as a side, we always have it with refried beans and Spanish rice. I'm not making any Spanish rice because we are having that the next day. And we ate it with some tortilla chips or saltine crackers and fresh salsa. And on this night, we are having mole with a side of Spanish rice. Now, mole is a sauce that is made out of chocolate, peanuts, and peppers. And even though this combination may sound odd, it just makes for the most delicious, perfect sauce. We top it over some shredded chicken. You can do whole chicken pieces. We just preferred the shredded. Now the plate that I'm showing you looks kind of crammed and little because it is my son's plate. Um, I was waiting to eat with my husband this night, but I wanted to show you while there was still daylight. Also, if you want to try this recipe, let me know and I will make a full recipe video. I have a very easy way to make this because it is a traditional Mexican dish that I know you will love. On this last night, we had tacos. Now it's not a Tuesday, but you don't need it to be a specific day of the week in our household. 
to have some tacos. Now, these tacos are choripollo tacos. So basically what that is, is chorizo seasoned chicken. And it tastes amazing. It's one of our family's favorite. Uh, but I do need to give full credit on this recipe to my sister. She is the one that taught me how to make this. And it is an all around favorite. I have taken this meal to potlucks and everyone just loves it. I have never had anyone tell me that they don't love it. Now we top our tacos with some fresh salsa, which I didn't make by the way, I was feeling lazy and used the store-bought kind, still delicious, and some shredded cabbage, some cut up cilantro and fresh lime juice and salt. Now my son helps me every night to make dinner. This night he heated all of the tortillas for us, so he wanted to show you how he tops his tacos and while he does that i do want to ask you if you want to see this recipe let me know and i will make a dedicated video either by myself or with my sister since again i'm giving her 100 percent credit on this so let me know down below if this is something you want to see as well and that's it for our meals for last week. Now I only showed you from Tuesday to Friday because Monday we ate at my mother-in-law's house. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this because I really enjoyed filming this or any other recipes you would want to see me make. Now I want to thank Mandy in the making and Cook, Clean and Repeat for this open collaboration. I'm going to leave a link to the playlist down below and a link to their channels. Make sure to check all of those out and Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.